Thanks for coming. Not much new today. Just uh, first day of practice. Split up the varsity and the freshmen for you, for you that were here that saw it. We always do that. I uh, have discussion with our staff and sometimes say let's go full uh, full team. The reason we do that is it's just the anxiety and you know it's not fair to throw that kid uh, throw a, a freshman even though they've been here for most of the summer out there with the uh, older guys yet. So teaching them how to get their ankles taped, to get the meetings on time, do everything, and that just starts. Uh, you, know, you can tell the guys that come from great high school programs, it's just they go. And then the guys that maybe they don't, it takes a minute to learn how to operate the way we expect. So, uh, I mean, it's a good day. I, I don't have much information for you. Uh, Braxton and uh, had a pretty good day. He played the entire practice at wide receiver. Uh, JT and uh, uh, Cardell, I mean, once again, they're fine. and uh, There's no update other than they're fine, I guess. So I can see the headlines. They're fine. Uh, well, I'll answer any questions for you. Well, then up with Bill. You asked about, uh, or you mentioned the Braxton, the number one receiver coach. What are your first impressions of him? Um, how quickly do you think he can adapt to this? And is he a full-time receiver now? He's full-time. Yeah, he's full-time. And, and I don't want to say I completely left it up to him, but uh, I just want to see how he pushed. And he, 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 he's full-time receiver. And... Uh, you know that that position to to play it right, uh, not just to play it, to play it right is it's like any other position. As a matter of fact, in my opinion, it's a little more complicated. And so he uh, he had a good day, but it's going to take. Uh, I'm glad it's day one. But it, as far as skill set and attitude and run around and dynamic, yes, yes, yes. Now it's just learning the game from that position. Front row middle, Dave. Urban, it's always difficult for true freshmen to play, especially in this program. Um, is that even more? Probably the better the better you are. You know, obviously when you have transition of personnel, uh, it's a little easier. But uh, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, what positions? Uh, the uh, skill spots are the easiest. You know, corner, a, a receiver. You know, that's usually you can insert a, a player. The offensive, defense line, that's tough. You know, the Joey Bosa's of the world that come in and plays a freshman. That doesn't happen very often. Uh, and we're still way too early to tell anything. But uh, the, the, your statement was correct. The better you are, the more experienced you are, the diff more difficult it is. I could see a, a really, I like our three linebackers. I know it's so early to say that. But I could see those three guys contributing in some form. And I'm talking about uh, Nick Connor, uh, uh, Hilliard, and Baker Jerome. You have 25 freshmen, scholarship freshmen, true freshmen. Is a good balance maybe? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't really know that. I, I'd like to. I'd like to have 20 of them play. That means we recruited really well. If, if not, you know, it takes a minute sometimes. Like the Darren Lee hindsight, you know, you wish you would have played Darren Lee. For whatever reason, we didn't. You know, and, I, and same with Eli Apple. Some of those kids, you know, we redshirt them. And you're a great player. You're not around here for five years, especially at skill spots. Linemen are a whole different animal. You know, the Daryl Baldwin's are great examples of guys that. You soak them for a few years, and they start, and their bodies develop, and all that. But skilled athletes, rarely do they last five. If you're a great player. Front row right, Austin. Urban, did you wind up flipping a coin for the first touch today? I don't know what he did. I didn't ask, and once again, we really didn't do much team. So who took the first rep? I couldn't tell you. Is, uh, as you guys move forward, is there a challenge to putting together a practice plan to make sure that you know, you're both guys are getting equal shot or even playing fields as you guys go along this month? Well, probably. I'm trying to think if we've ever had to do that where it's 50-50. I don't think we ever have. You know, everybody comments on the Chris League, Tim Tebow uh, dilemma that we have, but those are two different skill sets at the time. So it was almost different offenses. This one, I think it's going to be 50-50. So it's a little bit of a work in progress. Our objective is the first dozen practices 50-50 right down the middle. And have we ever done that before? I can't think we have. Front row, Tim. Yeah. Urban, along those lines, do you, uh, do you actually have – a guy ahead of the other guy in that group, or are you, are you literally going to let it? Quarterback? Out? Yeah, quarterback. Even. Straight, 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 straight. straight even. Uh, at Joey Bosa's spot, who, in your mind, talking with coaches and stuff, who are you looking at for that first game that you think will compete for that spot? Hubbard. Uh, uh, well, Taekwon pretty much secured part of the, the one spot. You have Hubbard, you have uh, uh, Jalen Holmes, and you have uh, uh, Slade. Darius Slade. 
And then, you know, you got other potentials. You got a big kid named Josh Perry that can do some things for us if we decide to change up the defense a little bit. And so there's alternatives. And, and then we're uh, studying them all right now. And the other, uh, who is your, right now, who's your backup running back? Is it Brante Dunn? I mean, who? Brante Dunn. Yeah. He's had a good, had a good spring. Uh, we're going to see how he does the summer camp. Curtis Samuel will get reps at both because he was a very good running back. And, and, uh, but he, he really, I like what he did today. He looked pretty good, more natural than he did the first week. Uh, of, yeah. yeah. Way in the back, Matt. Um, so for these early practices, you know, when you're getting no pads, or what are they about? What do you, what do you want to see in these early first weeks? Well, it's, uh, um, it's, it's bordering your insanity on how we're just nine strong, nine strong, nine strong. I just want to see uh, nine, uh, nine units perform. And I'm not looking for execution. I'm not looking for the right footwork, hand placement, those kind of things at all. It's we ask you to go five yards, go seven. We, we uh, you know, the four to six comment and A to B, those are all I care about for the first really 10 practices. And uh, today was okay. You know, we got to get better. And it's anytime you divide up the team, guys get blown out a little bit early. You saw the freshmen, uh, maybe you didn't near the end of practice. They were like pulling a tired dog. Uh, so we just, tomorrow will be a much, much better day. Third row right, Keno. What's the biggest challenge that you see away in the team this year as far as defense? I repeat, is not a uh, conversation, is just the uh, what's the biggest challenge I see from this team? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I see a whole slew of them, and we just don't have time to go through them all. And depth in the offense line, depth in the defense line. Who's our Devin Smith, uh, the deep ball threat? Those are two off the top of my head, but there's much more than that. Front row left, Doug. Irvin, did you see anything with Braxton that was it nervous at all or uncertain about anything? No, no. Uh, I just I, I, I want to see him because he, you know, the whole thing is with the receiver, get the play, have a plan, and then execute the plan. And uh, that involves your split, your release, and that's where it's different for Braxton. You know, it was before his quarterback. And the thing that he's comment he made to me, he's got to look, you know, quarterback, you got to worry about everyone's world. That receiver, you got to worry about your world, which is a little more easy to handle. So, I, well, nervous, no, I don't see him nervous. I just, you know, still quite a little bit unsure. Like you turn around and get the play and that kind of stuff, which we got to fight through that quickly. And he's, he's totally out of the quarterback room? He's in the receiver room right now. And last questions, Ari? So can you talk about, uh, do you have a timeline for when you'd like to identify your starter? Um, quarterback? Yeah, because you, you mentioned in the past that you're trying to have two guys putting reps in order to get one prepared. So yeah. do you have an idea? Of a little different this because they're both established guys. Uh, and, you know, Cardell not necessarily, but Cardell's been here a long time now. I think it's his, it was his eighth year here. <laughs> so I don't, and JT, you know, played a lot of football. so. Uh, we won't announce anything until the first guy that takes the field against uh, Virginia Tech. So don't, don't, that won't happen. 